Previously. I'm gonna get ready to set launch sequence here. The key. Let's try that. Oh, wait. I think it worked. I think it's working. Cindy, what are you doing out there? Hurry, get in here. I think this thing's about to launch. Hurry, hurry, get in. No, Cindy. The door's closed. Cindy. Cindy. I might never see Cindy again. Wow, the universe is a huge place. I'm talking massive, endless. Just landing at the keep, it, it blew me away. A floating city in the middle of space where my father's been for 18 years. It, it's, it's all too much to take in. But I, I don't have a lot of time to take it in because I have to go back to Earth. I'm going back to Earth to save Cindy. Oh my god, I can't believe we made it off Earth and, and, and got to the keep safely. I've never flown a spacecraft and to get that thing here, I thought that was going to be impossible, but we made it. We, we, we made it. Not all of us, though. I can't believe I left Cindy on Earth. I can't believe she got out of the escape pod. I can't believe she got her, forgot her father's ring in the boat. Why did she go back for the ring? Why, Cindy? Why did you go back for the ring? And why couldn't I get the doors open? I gotta go back for her. I have to find my dad here. He's gotta be somewhere here on the keep. And I have to find him. And he's gotta know his way back to Earth. He's been up here like 18 years. He's gotta know his way around the universe by now. And he'll help me get back to Earth and save Cindy before it's too late. I have to save her before the Earth is destroyed by Roth. How are you guys feeling, though? Are you alright? Kyle, how are you doing? I can't believe we made it, Zack. Nice job piloting that pod. Uh, look how crazy this place is. They have to have something to help you. I know, Kyle. Th they have to have a spacecraft or something we can take back really quickly to Earth. They have to have spacecraft that can travel the universe in like a, a snap of a finger or something. So, I I'm not too worried. I, I think we can get back to Earth and save her. As long as Cindy knows how to hide, I, I think she'll be safe. Uh, hey, Mom. I can't believe your father's been up here for 18 years. He will help you rescue Cindy. Don't worry, honey. I know, Mom. Dad's gotta know his way around the galaxy now. Nearly 20 years up here, it's gotta be like knowing the back of his hand. Uh, Gramps, are you feeling better? You're sitting up now, and that's good. Uh, you're gonna do amazing things, Zack. Amazing things. Well, thanks, Gramps. I'm glad you think so, but I don't feel that way. I wasn't able to get everyone off Earth safely. How am I supposed to keep the universe safe? I left my true love back on Earth, and... Look, it's just moving through the sky at such a rapid rate. I don't know. I'm going to go look around, you guys. You stay here. I'm going to see if I can find my dad. This, this, the, the station, the keep is just so massive, and, and the universe is just so huge. Look at it. Look at all the planets up in the sky just flying around, and look at all this. It's like their own little mini-earth up here on the keep. Oh, oh is that Obey? Obey! I, I thought you only looked like that because you were a hologram. H how are you, buddy? Welcome, Zack. I'm so happy to see you made it out there, out of there alive. You have proven to be very skilled and wise at such a young age. I'm not skilled at all, nor am I wise. What? Why would you say such a thing? You were able to get your family and friends off Earth safely. You were a even able to operate and find the escape pod. You are brilliant for your age, and your father's going to be proud. See, see, that is where you are wrong, Obey. I wasn't able to save everyone. What do you mean? Everyone is here. Your mom, your grandfather, and even one of your friends. What more do you need? Cindy, she got left behind. I love her. I must go back for her. Oh, the girl. I told you she would only bring you heartache and distract you. Zack, you are a keeper. You need to help keep the universe safe, not chase after some teenage romance. I know what I am, Obey, but I am not leaving Cindy down there to die. Zack, you need to listen to me, and listen good. You are not going back for Cindy. There is no time. The planet is doomed, rather already too far into it. You need to focus your energy on the next project, and that is to keep the universe safe. No, I will not accept that. I'm going back to Earth and saving Cindy. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but the reason Cindy isn't here... Uh, it's a good reason. One I can't explain to you right now, but you must trust me. I made sure her father's brain fell out of her pocket. I know you, you're... I knew her being up here would only be bad. And, and now, Zach, I know you're, you're going to be mad and you're not going to trust me. What? 
You did that? I'll kill you! Why would you do that to Cindy? I love her! One day you will thank me, Zack, but until that day you may hate me, and I'm fine with that, since I was able to prevent a future tragedy. What is he talking about? What is Obey talking about? A future tragedy? He, he made me leave the love of my life, an innocent girl, on Earth to die. You didn't prevent anything. I'm still going back. I don't care if I die in the process. How about we see what your father thinks about all of this? He is waiting for you at the station headquarters. Go there and see what he thinks. I, I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm going back. I'm going to go ask my father for a ship, and I'm going back to get Cindy. I hate Obey. I hate you, Obey! He's always hes always messing with my life. He acts like he's wise and knows everything, but he doesn't know about me and Cindy. And Cindy's not going to cause a future tragedy. I don't even know what he's talking about. I just think, I just think he doesn't want me to be happy, and I'm not going to handle that. I'm not going to sit down and take it, Obey! Okay, so my dad's somewhere in here. Oh, man, he's better have a ship for me. I need to get back to Earth. Um, hey, excuse me. Hey there, how can I help you? I'm looking for my dad. The sad thing is, uh, I don't know his name. Uh, wait, are you Zack? You must be Zack! I've never seen you around the station before, so you must have to be him! Uh, yeah, I'm Zack. Uh, how do you know me? Your dad, his name is Chris. He always talks about you. I pretty much watched you grow up. He does? And wait, what? Uh, how did you watch me grow up? Well, up here at the keep, we can watch any part of the universe at any time. I know it may sound uh, kind of creepy, but your dad was so busy trying to keep the universe safe, he asked me to watch over you and give him updates. Really? Wow. Uh, but how? You look like you're my age. Well, thank you. I just turned 125 years old a couple weeks ago, so that's a huge compliment. Wait, 125? How do you look so young then? Uh, that's kind of a tough thing to explain, but I'll try. So basically, the keep is located in the dead center of the universe. So here, time stands still. Uh, so since time is standing still, we never age. But it, as time stands still here, the rest of the universe is constantly moving. Uh, it is really confusing, <laughs> but you'll get used to it uh, being a keeper and all. So, wait, the, so time stands still here, but the rest of the universe keeps moving. Okay, I get that. Uh, so we don't age if we're at the keep, but if we're, say, on Earth, we'd age. That is confusing. <laughs> Whoa, wow, I think my head just exploded with information. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is a lot to take in at once, but Chris isn't here right now. He actually had to do a checkup on his spaceship. So he's gone? No, actually, he uh, is docked to the front of the station. He doesn't have to deploy for another day or so, so you can probably find him on his ship somewhere. Okay, thank you, Lindsay. Uh, it was nice to meet you. Uh, likewise, Zach. See you around. Oh, wow. Okay, so Lindsay's pretty nice, and uh, she's been watching me my whole life, so she pretty much knows everything about me. Then uh, I guess my dad's on one of these ships in the front of the station. <sighs> There's Obey. I don't even want to talk to him when I walk by. I'm not talking to you right now, Obey. I I'm mad at you. I don't care what you say. Okay, so this must be the ship that they, that Lindsay was talking about that my dad's on. I'm about to meet my father, a man who I've, I've never met, and, and he's my dad. He helped create me, and, and I'm about to meet him. Oh, there's, there's a keeper, a uh, keeper Ryan. Uh, hello. Hey, citizen, I am sorry, but this is a restricted area, and I cannot let you enter. Uh, no, I don't think you understand. Uh, I I'm Zack. Uh, I don't care who you are, I'm Ryan. That doesn't change that this is a restricted area. Now move along. My dad, uh, he's in there. My dad is Chris. Haha, <laughs> nice try. Chris doesn't have any kids that I know of. Now move along, citizen, before you make me mad. When I get mad, I tend to fire off my laser gun. Uh, you're making a big mistake, Ryan. Huge! <laughs> yeah, whatever. Now move along. Jesus, how am I supposed to get in the ship? That's where my dad is. And it's docked. Oh, man. There's no way I can jump to it. Look at that. I would just fall into, like, an endless black hole of nothing. Okay, I gotta think. Gotta get out of Ryan's sight. Let me look down here. Is there any way to get to the ship? Wait. Okay, this is kind of risky, but I see a little bridge there. Maybe I can jump to it somehow and, and get on the ship. It looks like it goes to the underbelly of the ship. It must be a docking station or a conveyor belt of some sort. 
This is gonna hurt. This could be very dangerous, too. I don't want to slip off. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Wow. I can't believe it. Uh, I'm on the, the cargo transport of the ship right here. This has to lead to the underbelly. Oh, my God, it does. Okay, hold on. I have to get up here. How, how can I get up? Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, I'm under the ship. Okay. I'm under the ship. I'm under my dad's ship. This is my dad's ship. Okay, I have to get up here. Um, this has to lead to the actual ship compartment. Oh, Jesus. This is difficult. This is harder than I thought it would be. Wait, yeah, there we go. Oh, my God. I'm in the ship. Oh, my God, I'm in the ship. Look at all this. This is way more advanced than the escape pod. Oh, my God, they must have built that escape pod. There's a map of the United States. They must have built that escape pod, like, way back in the day. Look at this. Look at everything in this ship. Now, where's my dad? He's got a... There's Officer Ryan. Or the Keeper Ryan, I should say. I don't want him to see me. Okay. Uh, my dad's got to be somewhere on this ship. Wait, I think he's up here. He's up at the front of the ship. Uh, hello, uh, Keeper Chris. Um, I think you're my father. Oh my, it's you, son! It's been so long. I I'm so happy to see you made it out of Earth okay. I don't even know where to start. I'm just happy I have a dad. Uh, don't worry, son. We will have plenty of time to catch up tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the day uh, of your first keep mission. You, uh, we're going to be leaving the keep and venturing off to the deep space. Uh, I have something I need to talk about. Um, and I need to talk about right now, Dad. Uh, what is it, my son? Anytime you need to talk, feel free to come to me. I, I know I haven't been there for the last 18 years, but I intend to start right now. Uh, well, you don't know who she is, but Cindy, she was left behind on Earth. I know who Cindy is. I have been watching, even from way up here. Uh, I, I have still been somewhat connected to you. <sighs> now, how did she get left behind? She went back for her dad's ring, and the pod took off without her. Oh, so that's what Obey's plan was. I didn't know he was going to have to do that. Wait, you knew Obey did that to Cindy? No, yes, but no. I, I knew Obey had to do something to prevent a disaster, but I didn't know what it was. I I'm sorry, son. I need to go back for her. I'm afraid there is nothing we can do. It is too late for Cindy. Plus, Obey states that she is going to cause a huge disaster in the future, and we can't afford for something like that to happen. I'm sorry, Zack, but Cindy will have to stay on Earth. No, I will not accept that. I'm going to find a way back, whether you will help me or not. Zack, don't be selfish. We have a universe to protect. One person isn't worth the lives of millions, or even billions. You don't understand, Dad. All you do is abandon people. This is why it's so easy for you. Zack, there's a reason for that. I don't care. I'm out of here. Just leave me alone. If you're not going to help me, I'm going to help myself. I'm going back for Cindy whether you like it or not, Dad. Whether it kills me or whether it kills everyone. I know it sounds selfish, but that's, that's what I'm going to do for true love. I'm going back for Cindy. Get out of my way, Ryan. <laughs>